Hey guys, in this training, I'm going to show you how to use my free spreadsheet to track your website and social media metrics. So the first thing I want you to do, if you haven't already downloaded this spreadsheet, head on over to angiegensler.com and I want you to click on yes, send me the calendar and that's going to give you access to my entire freebies library where you can get a ton of great resources, but you can also get this spreadsheet. Okay, so now that you have your spreadsheet downloaded, I want you to start on this stats page. And the first thing you're going to do is up top, you are going to remove all of my links and put in your own links to your website, to your Pinterest page, to your Facebook page, whatever pages you have. We've got a ton of different ones built in here. So go ahead and select the social channels that you are currently participating on. And bring all of your information into these channels along the top here. And then I also want you to move them about. So if you don't have a Twitter account, you know, cut that out and throw it to the end. And if you have maybe a Snapchat, cut that out and bring it to the beginning. So ideally you want to see your most active channels on this main screen. So it's really easy for you to put in your information. Now let's see, let's move on to these rows right here. These rows of data are just sample data to show you what happens when you put in data. So let me show you the awesome graphs that are built into the spreadsheet. Each one of these channels has its own sheet with a graph that auto populates every time you insert a new data point. It's really cool and really handy. So you can see each one of these channels has its own unique graph and you can really track your progress from week to week and month to month and see what's working and what's not. Now, a key that I wanna point out, to know what is working and what's not, you need to take advantage of this notes section down here. Now, if you're anything like me, you are constantly trying new strategies, testing new things out, implementing new things you learn. But unfortunately, when a month has gone by, it's hard to remember what week you implemented something new. So take advantage of this notes section down here and put in what it is that you tried that week. What new strategies did you test? And that way, when you're looking back at your data, if you see a huge spike or a huge dip, you can look back and see, well, crap, what happened that week? What is it that worked so well or didn't work so well? You can look at your notes and you know exactly what did and did not work. So the notes is key to making the spreadsheet work for you. Now the next thing I want you to do, so first was to change out this information, get these channels, the channels that you use up here in this spreadsheet. The second thing I want you to do, delete this data, get rid of it, and start entering your own. Put in the date, today's date, get rid of these other two, put in today's date, and start entering your data. And then each time you enter a new date and a new data point, it's going to auto-populate these graphs. Now look, I deleted all that data so these graphs are empty now, but each time you add in a new week, it's going to auto-populate every single one of these graphs for all your social channels. It makes it really easy to see what's working and what's not. Now I also want to point out the followers. So I have followers on here, page likes, subscribers. Um, I'm sure you've heard everyone say, it's, it's not about your followers, it's about engagement. And I agree with that to some extent, that is true. However, I also think that it's really not even about engagement either. At the end of the day, what I am looking for is traffic to my website. So people can be engaging on my social channel. That's great, that's awesome. And it allows me to get to know them better. I love that. But my true end goal at the end of the day is to get them back to my website. So that's why I track referral traffic. And I also track followers because let me put in a few data points here in the Instagram to just give you an idea of what is actually going on with my Instagram account right now. So. I have had a really steady increase in my followers week after week. It's going great. And if you just look at my follower count, you would say, oh, I need to put in the dates here. You would say that I was killing it on Instagram. Well, 
I'm not killing it on Instagram because my traffic has been completely stagnant. It has, or I'm sorry, yeah, the referral traffic that I'm getting has been stagnant. It stayed the same. Okay, now let's check it out. Now that I put in these dates, so that is key, a key to point out, you need your dates. Okay, so this is what's been happening to me on Instagram. My followers have been steadily increasing. It's been great, but my referral traffic to my website has stayed completely flat. So that is a really good indication to me that something's wrong. Something's not working with my strategy and I need to switch it up. And I'm also, I am actually getting pretty decent engagement too on my Instagram. But again, the absolute end goal for me is to drive traffic to my website and it's not working. So now I know I can change up my strategy. And if I continue to see this over the next couple of months, I may even quit all of my efforts on Instagram. I'm not going to close my account down, but maybe I'm going to put a hold on it for a while and focus my energy and my time on other channels. So having a spreadsheet and tracking your traffic and your engagement and your referral traffic is really crucial to allow you to change up your strategy and figure out what works and be proactive and make social media work for you in your business. Okay, so download this spreadsheet, start putting in your data, tracking it, and then you can actually be more strategic about how you're going after social media. So for more great tips on how to grow your business using social media and digital marketing, head on over to AngieGinsler.com. I'll see you there.